Your old neighbours are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Jan Bertie Jessic. Oh, did I do it wrong? I did it wrong. Hold. No? It doesn't take you to it. You have to like manually look it up. Huh. Why would it not? Normally when a prompt like that comes up in a game, and it's like, press this to, for the new codex entry, you'll press it and it'll take you to it. That wasn't so bad, it was a minor argument. I imagine they'll escalate. In fact, I imagine that we might follow the rule of threes, as far as encounters go. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Is it raining again? I see the effect on the screen. Are there clouds to rain with? We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. At the moment, it seems like we're in a season where There's it just rains all the time. The, square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. But it's not raining over here. Is that effect supposed to mean something besides... Is it supposed to be dust or something? Maybe it's not supposed to be rain. It's not there anymore. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Don't worry, I brought my torch. I'm not going to get arrested in this town again. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Wow. That, uh, seems a little less Christian of you. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the Welcome whole army. Henry. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. What? Oh, are, are all the beggars supposed to be at the church? Then why were you like, you were a good Christian for getting the blacksmith to pay them, which was not the church, that was the blacksmith. Uh, or the armorsmith. But then that guy's wrong? And his tone completely changed. He went from being, you were a good Christian, to be like, Oh, goddamn beggars want a whole arm, and I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them all. I'm like, what? What? Am I missing context here? Wait, isn't that the church? The, the blacksmith has some trouble, and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice, too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skalix. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Did I mishear him? I thought he said the beggars belong at the church, and that was the church, I think? I think. 
I can't keep up with all the rules. These people that arrest me for being in the dark. <laughs> the Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Are we going to be mad at this guy too? No? Nope, oh, they walk through each other again. <laughs> For a brief moment there, the tackle option came up. <laughs> the game's trying to tell me something. Hello, wall pig. The pig of walls. Honestly, all of his uh, nostalgia prophetizing is like lost in some of its sincerity and or not not sincerity some of its innocence due Don't to all of the way he's treated people it's quiet today good where's moimir anyway isn't he supposed to be here with you ah yes he hasn't turned up yet oh i see now where might he have got to then i don't know you don't know eh let me tell you something when the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. Uh, he was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Give myself a stats check, huh? I've been working on it. I wonder if you can get enough money just to pay every single beggar here, and then they all stop begging. Like if you like console coded it in or something. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Huh? Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. I. Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Wait, I thought you said I was going to talk sense into him. But, uh, okay. I guess that's over now. That fool got me all worked up. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? Now let me talk to you about Gwent. Oh, dice. Oh. The things that have been ruining... All of, uh, and a fate for me lately. I don't know how to play. Uh, it's only telling me keyboard controls all of a sudden. All right, T. Dice. If you want to try your hand at gambling, it's possible to play a dice game of Farkle uh, in every respectable tavern. The goal of this two player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Six dice are thrown and the players alternate turns. Points are gained for every one or five thrown, and for three or more of a kind of any other number. So we want we want a one or a five or a three of a kind. Huh. A one is worth a hundred points, a five is worth fifty points, three of a kind is worth a hundred points multiplied by the given numbers, so if it's three of a kind of fours, then it's worth four hundred points. So it seems like getting three of a kind is like a priority kind of... Wait, what? 
Three fours is worth 400 points. Three ones is worth 1,000 points? Why? Why? I don't see what the math of that is. Four or more of a kind is worth double the points of three of a kind. So four fours is worth 800 points. Five fours is worth 1,600 points, etc. A player's turn always begins by throwing all six dice. The player then uses E to select and set aside scoring dice. And at least one die may must always be set aside. Then the player can throw the remaining dice again using F and the simulation repeats. Situation repeats. Scoring combinations are counted for present throw, not the entire turn. The key element of the game is, to, is that if a throw does not produce a single scoring die, then the player's turn is over and all points gained up to that point during the turn are lost. It is then the opposing player's turn to throw. Therefore, it is advisable to end your turn using Q before there is a significant increase in the chance that not a single die will score. So if I, if I throw a dice that doesn't score anything, then all of my points are forfeit, I take it? It is also often worth not setting aside all scoring dice so that you will have a better chance of scoring higher on the next throw. And since each player throws his own dice, there is also the opportunity to cheat, but it is more difficult to find loaded dice. Hmm. The top is the opponent's tab, mine is... my tab's on the bottom. Huh. It'll take a bit of a learning curve, I suppose. So, ones are the most valuable, right? So, holding die... There we go. Holding die is A. Is it... If I do this, will the controls... No, the controls still reverted back to keyboard. Weird! That wasn't... This problem didn't exist last time, but suddenly there's a weird issue where the game doesn't know which, which, which one to show. If I stick with the threes, I might roll another three. Which might help me... It might help me out. No fives at all. We go for three or fours. So well, the fours are worth more. So let's try re-rolling now. Uh, shit. Do I only hold one dice? Oh, can you only hold them if they score? Maybe. I don't think I understand. <laughs> I don't think I understand. Uh, set aside... Okay, so you do only hold scoring dice. You can throw the remaining ones. So I want to hold the one. Score and roll again. How do I... X doesn't do anything. It was F. Okay, so the controller doesn't work. Apparently. I don't know what's going on there. It's fine. I'll just use keyboard for this. Uh, there's two fives. Two sixes. Sixes are worth more. Old dice is E. But I can't roll again. Oh wait, no. The fives are shit. The fives are the ones that score automatically. Let's score and roll again. Got another five. At this point, I should probably score and pass. What is that camera angle? <laughs> what is that? It's not showing me anything that's happening. Finished. Oh my god, she's got 700. Did you get 701 roll? That's a three of a kind of ones. That's worth a lot, right? Or in pass. They're, okay, I can, I can point it back down. So that it's not automated camera, it's just reverting to the old one. That'll do me. Oh, he's leading. These are really shitty dice. Uh, two sixes, two fours, one and three. Well, I have to score, right? So let's score and roll again. It seems like you're not allowed to... Ooh. 
It seems like you're not allowed to strategically hold dice. Like, I can't hold this three. So that, that that's where I thought the strategy was going to be, is like you could gamble by like holding two threes and hoping a third three gets rolled. But it seems like you can literally only hold what's already scored, which is kind of disappointing, honestly. Score and pass. I basically just click on already winning. What? Oh, time's passing. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Well, Isn't it still a bit early? early. I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't yeah, close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Sure wish I knew about that a little sooner. All right. What? Somebody yelling at me right now? I'm gonna pull out my torch. There we go. All right, so I'm supposed to ring the bell. I'm still bad at navigating this map, so... Way back at the other side, okay. I need to get used to the symbol system they use. Because then I might be able to find the object, uh, identify the objective on the map without, uh, checking manually each time. But for now I want to be sure. It's forbidden to be around here at night without a torch. So why aren't you arresting all these people, huh? Seems like there's a lot of people around in the dark without a torch that aren't being thrown in jail like I was. I'm not bitter, you're bitter. Uh, she only started not long ago. Always in the evening while there's still a bit of light. She sits down and gets on with it. And she's quite deft at it by now. I'm not surprised. Betty was always good with her hands. You're right there. Anyway, I showed a couple of pieces she made last time to old Tonda from Tabor, the one I buy goods from. And he said right away he'll take them. And how much do I want for them? Well, now... Hey! I was surprised myself, but... I wasn't sure Betty would even want to sell That guy's butt is clipping through his clothes? Huh. Alright. Just like that. So this is entrapment, right? He's talking with her in the dark, but he's got the light source, so when they stop gossiping, she's gonna be alone in the dark, and then she's gonna get arrested. Because you get arrested for that. They're, they're willing to jail you for 24 hours if you're not in covered in light at all times. Let's go ring the bell. Remember kids, always run with the fire. Very safe. There's the bell. We're closing the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square. Yeah. One of the first... It's, uh, it's the first place where I was picking up side quests, right? Where they sent me to, to ask about rumors. Walk through each other. Yes! <laughs> Oh? And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig! <laughs> Did you find him? <laughs> We tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. 
birds with feathers stick together. <laughs> it seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save them bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he? He's hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Our protagonist makes some interesting mistakes that I would not encourage. Boy, do I not have the stats for this right now. Oh, boy. I thought I'd be, like, touring and dealing with some beggars, and that's it. How you feeling, buddy? Oh no, my joystick's almost only sometimes working. That's not a good sign. What's that line? What in the name of Christ is happening here? Hell! Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> You spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what, you can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. This game's good at making me feel better about my decisions. Because <laughs> I'm sitting here like, oh no, I screwed up and walked outside without a torch for five seconds and now I'm getting arrested for 24 hours. But the actual character is that I'm playing makes such worse mistakes without my input that I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm, now I don't really feel bad anymore. It's fine. It's fine. This guy's content to be a jackass that gets himself in trouble constantly, so I'm not really that worried anymore. Am I supposed to bring anything with me? It just says to meet him there. So now we're going to be forced to deal with this character that very much hates us. 
You can only track three side quests and activities. Period. Alright, well that one's really far away. I don't know if I'm going to be there very soon, so let's tra track courtship instead of mightier than the sword that I don't think I'm going to get to anytime soon. Ruin. And that's better to track than punch me, because I think I don't... I'll, I'll, I'll be in the process of actually seeking punch me when it's time. Alright, so t tomorrow's going to be interesting. We get to spend all day with the guy that uh, I'm pretty sure wants to kill us. In fact, I won't be entirely surprised if he actually tries to kill us over the course of tomorrow. It's like, oh, there was an accident. Because he's a pretty immature shithead in general. Uh, which is perfect for my guy. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's definitely dark. It's definitely dark now. And there's people just sitting around. But why don't they get arrested? Why did I get arrested if they don't get arrested? What is that rule? I mean, I get it. It's like to deal with like, because like you'd expect thieves and other people to be sneaking around in the night, and it also c comes up with an incentive where like, it, it's a uh, it's one way of going around uh, what's an ongoing problem with uh, games in general is that like, people don't suspect you at all unless they see you in the exact moment where you're stealing something. But oftentimes you'll be in a in a questionable location for a long period of time. But they, unless as long as they don't see you like actually open the chest or whatever that has their belongings in it, they don't suspect you of doing anything naughty. And so different games handle it differently. Uh, Divinity was frustrating because if anything had ever been stolen anywhere in the entire world, then like ra uh, then the people in the environment will go sprinting around and accosting random people until they catch you. And then it's like really un hard to avoid. So it kind of, kind of feel like it, uh, it uh, undid your motivations for bothering with stealing because the, the NPCs were so bizarrely effective at catching you for doing it retroactively even if they didn't see you do it which was kind of frustrating but a lot of other games would let make it too easy so i guess this game's approach is to deal with the idea of if you're even suspicious at all wandering around at night then like you can be accosted just for that let alone if you're actually doing something wrong I'm trying to make it back home oopsie Still got a ways to go. Let's see. Go to go see Teresa. Go and see Teresa the Mill Wench before noon. She's specifically called Teresa the Mill Wench. Oh. I mean it's technically always before noon, isn't it? <laughs> so uh how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scalitz. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. It's getting too late now. But if you pick me up during the day, I'll be glad to take a walk with you. As her ladyship commands? <laughs> you jester. I've brought you something? Have I? Or is that just a prompt for the ability to gift something to her? Probably should not give her the the ring of the dead woman. That'd be pretty brutal. Uh, let's let it stop there. But yeah, perhaps... Well, tomorrow I'll be busy hunting, but maybe the next day we'll have a chance. Let's see if I can find ways to make money that aren't the... Uh, straight-up grave robbing option. Put that torch away. Soon all these negative stats will hopefully wear off. I'm kind of shocked that I have such a significant stat deficiency from a single day in jail. Like, I didn't exactly rot in there. My nourishment's a little lower. Okay, so eat from pot, it seems like it comes back every day. So if I rest, I can eat from the pot in the morning, at dawn, and then I'll be able to replenish just in time for the before the, uh, the fight starts, basically. Oh, the things in my inventory. No, that's my inventory, that's what's in the chest. Whoops. Probably don't need a broken tournament arrow. 
Let's get rid of the let's get rid of the duplicate armor. That's not my normal the set I'm using right now. That'll reduce things a bit, hopefully. One set of arrows. I guess that's really the main stuff. I can put away some of these keys that aren't relevant anymore. Or not. Oh yeah, oh. Oh, there's like a key ring and everything. Trunk keys and- well, it's like- is that-, is that, is that I think that's a nested... I think that's like a nested inventory thing where it's like they're- they're tiered. It's first it's trunk keys and door keys, then you- I think you go from there down to all the different actual keys. Oh, did it automatically strip my armor off? Or did I put it all in the chest? How does this work? I can't get up. It's not working. <laughs> I'm having I'm having buttons stop working. All right, look around a little bit. Uh, escape. There we go. Controls are acting strangely. I'll have to look into this. Okay. Uh oh. So all of my weapons and armor disappeared. They seem to have automatically... Okay, so... Now when I sit down, everything automatically goes into my trunk, it looks like? Was that there before? I thought I had to manually take my stuff off last time. But it seems like everything automatically dumped out of my inventory into the trunk. Okay, well now I know that's a feature. Oh right, I had a... No, damn it. Uh, at a point, right? Yeah, for speech. So I've gained, I've gained one speech perk. There's final offer. When a trader loses patience with your with you during haggling, you may take one more chance to offer another offer. Not bad. Highborn increases your speech level by three when talking to nobles and wealthy people. You ca you can't have the lowborn perk simultaneously. Lowborn, your speech stat will rise by three when you talk to commoners. You can't have the perk highborn at the same time. So I have to pick which person I want to have an advantage with, basically. And there's a lot more commoners than highborn, due to, you know, that there's a reason why they're called commoners. Uh, shit. That's interesting, isn't it? Gotta make a call. Huh. A potential thing is that the dialogue with Highborns might have more impactful moments where it's more might more might be on the line when I need speech checks against them. But the lowborn might be people I can interact with constantly, and they might smooth so many corners all the time. Uh, let's go for lowborn, but I'm I'm gonna regret it no matter what. <laughs> it's a it's a hell of a trade off. Kudos for that. All right, another point spent. And so ends another night. My energy's at 100? Wow. I really don't need sleep, do I? My energy's still maxed out. Is my energy... Is my energy the only factor for how much I need to sleep? Or is there another thing that governs how much I need to sleep that I'm not seeing here that isn't given away as a, as a more explicit meter? That's dawn, so I should sleep till one hour before that. I'll apparently be at high... Yeah, it'll, it'll cap out my energy pretty quickly. I think it's just I'm not doing anything, and so I'm nothing I'm... I'm not going out and fighting, really, and I'm not really doing anything to my energy meter, so... Despite the fact that I had a whole day, I guess time must not be accounted for? for how energy goes down, or maybe the fact that when I was on the, the patrol with that guy, we seemed to skip ahead through the day, so maybe the simulation didn't account for that. Not totally sure, to be honest. But there we go. 